Adele, Peak Plantation, 1940. I believe it's the cold I remember most. Yes, I still feel the cold. I still feel a lot of things, like the deep down shiver of my sweet little Maggie as she stands beside her daddy, stealing fingers the color of bone into his calloused brown hand, kneading his warmth. But there is no warmth in him, my poor dear Henry, and it grinds my heart to see it. Yes, I still have a heart, too, or an ache, at least, where it used to be. Maggie clutches at the buttoned-up collar of her black wool coat, hunching her shoulders as if to hoard her heat. I want to scold her for not remembering her gloves, and Henry, too, for not looking after her. He's dressed her up, I see, put her in her yellow dress from last Easter, the one with the bow in back. Already her knees are blue with cold. But it's not in me to be angry. The man next to Maggie hardly resembles the one I knew, and I knew Henry Gavin well. He's hollowed out now, hardly there at all, though his boots still leave prints in the earth, and he never leaves off staring at that stone. I knew right off where he was going when he cranked up that old truck, and I knew right off why. He means to tell her. She's a beautiful child. Her face is so still and pale, like a doll's, the fine blue-white of China, and her gray eyes are wide and shimmery from the chill. My arms long to go around her, to hold her close, to keep her warm and guard her against all that may come. For a moment, the pain is so raw it nearly bends me in two. You forget sometimes to steel yourself against those moments, you think it all stops, but it doesn't. You can still hurt long after you're dead and gone. Well, if the child must know, and it seems she must, I wish it were me doing the telling. Men don't do these things well. She's already confused. I could see it in her face when he got out of the truck and started walking, and I see it again now as she follows her daddy's eyes to the pale slab of soapstone. It's my stone, my bones that lie beneath that mound of dark earth, all fenced in with pretty black iron. There's a gate with two doves and a shiny brass lock to keep me in my place. Too late for that, I guess. There are words inscribed there, but no dates and no name. Thank heaven at least for that.